Hey guys, welcome to my video. For today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make the basket weave stitch number four. To begin, all you're going to need is some yarn and a crochet hook. For this tutorial, you will need to know how to make chains, how to make the double crochet stitch, the front post double crochet stitch, and the back post double crochet stitch. I have videos on all of those and I will have them listed down below. Starting from the very beginning, making chains, you're going to make chains in the multiple of four. I have already made 24 chains on my hook. To start row 1, make 1 double crochet into the 4th chain from your hook. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. You're now going to make 1 double crochet into each chain across. And that's how row one is looking. To start row two, make two chains. We're going to start our row with front post double crochet stitches. You're going to skip over this first stitch and then into the next four, you're going to be making front post double crochets. So into the second stitch after the one you skipped, you're going to make one front post double crochet into that one. So that's one, one into the next one. So that's two, one into the next one. That's three, and then one into the next one, making a total of four front post double crochet. So now into the next four stitches, we're gonna be making back post double crochet. So into the next stitch, you're going to make one back post double crochet. Into the next stitch, another back post double crochet. Into that next stitch, a back post double crochet. So that's three so far. And then into the next stitch, a back post double crochet to make four. So now this is going to establish our sequence. We're going to be alternating between making four front post double crochet and then four back post double crochet for the rest of our row. At the end of your row, you're going to have some chains left. You're going to make a regular double crochet into the tops of those chains to complete your row. And that's how row two is looking. For this stitch, we're going to be making four rows total of row two and then alternating between four rows total of row three. So from my swatch, I made row two and then made three more rows of row two for a total of four. So now we're going to move on and make row three. To start row three, make two chains. So for row three, we're going to be doing the opposite stitches of row two. In row two, we started with front post double crochet, 
For row three, we're gonna start with back post double crochet. You're gonna skip this first stitch into the next four. You're gonna make one back post double crochet into each. After those back posts, you're going to make four front post double crochet over the next four stitches. Then you're going to alternate between making four back post double crochet and four front post double crochet for the rest of your row. At the end of your row, you're going to have some chains left. Work one regular double crochet into the tops of those chains to complete this row. And that's how row three is looking. So just like before, when I made four rows of row two, this is four rows of row three. So that is how that is looking. So you would now alternate between making four rows of row two and then four rows of row three for however long you want your project. And that is gonna be how to make the basket weave stitch number four. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more from me. You can follow me on all social media at Crochet Me Lovely, all one word. Please leave me any feedback down below for future videos and tutorials that you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for being here and have a great day.